when I watched Escape from LA, the longer awaited sequel to Carpenter's classic Escape from New York, I enjoyed it. Again, you might think I'm being ridiculous, just like with Ghost of Mars, but the film has a cheesy and silly nature, like Ghost of Mars, that I found pretty entertaining. It's possible that, because unlike most people who waited over a decade for Snake Plissken's return, I wasn't even born when Escape from New York came out, so I didn't have that weight, I didn't have that hype building up. If I did, I might have disliked it like most people did as well. I mean, the original had its moments of humour, but it never went into camp mode. Escape from LA ne never leaves camp mode. I'm not going to tell you it's a good movie, because in reality it's probably not. You know, it's cheesy, it's campy, the special effects are laughably bad, and it's really a remake of New York than a sequel. But I can't help it if I enjoyed the cheesiness and campiness. LA was Carpenter's attempt at pushing a long in production sequel into reality, and from what I heard, he wishes he hadn't bothered now. I had a ball watching it however, Russell slips back into his signature role perfectly and the B-moviness around him is a delight to watch. Loads of funky characters left, right and centre, there's a scene where he has to put a basketball into a hoop in an allotted time otherwise he dies, a part where he surfs down a CGI wave on the street. It's nowhere near impressive as the original obviously, and that's a legitimately brilliant movie. I won't whisper it, but the budget of LA was a whopping 50 million dollars compared to New York's measly six. And for reference, the most expensive movies made at that time were James Cameron's Terminator 2 and True Lies, which were made in the region of 100 million, so even back then, 50 million was a lot of money. It's the most expensive carpenter film and one of his biggest bombs. Even though I enjoyed it, from a technical perspective, if you wanted to summarise or analyse what was right with Carpenter's early career and what was wrong with his later career, you could set up a screening for Escape from New York and immediately after Escape from LA and the differences are clear. Best scene, um, the part where Snake's submarine device swims through the sea, which was within, what, five minutes of the film starting? That's when I stopped taking the film seriously and started to enjoy the campiness, but I'm gonna go for the ending, which was legitimately pretty ballsy with Snake turning off all the electricity in the world.